ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञानमूर्ति द्वंदातीत त्रिगुण रहित तस्मस्यादिलक्ष्यम एक निमल अचल सर्वधी साक्षीहुत भावातीत गगन सदृश सद्गुरु तम नमामे ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ध्यान मूल गुरुमूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरुपद मंत्रूल गुरुवाक्यम मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा सदुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की शिव वी आर टेकिंग द ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टेंजा ऑफ चैप्टर टेन बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ माय मास्टर सदगुरु महर्षीना रघुरहम गिरामस्मेकर यपयोस्म स्थावरणा हिमाल महर्षीना रघु अहम गिराम अस्मी एक अक्षर यपय अस्मी स्थावरण हिमाल अहम इट मीन आई महर्षिना इट मीन्स इन द ग्रेट ऋषीज भ्रघु न भ्रघु इट मीन्स द नेम ऑफ ए ऋषि ग्राम इट मीन्स ऑल द वर्ड्स एंड ऑल द लैंग्वेज एक मीन्स एक अक्षरम मीन्स अक्षर ओम अस्मि इट मीन्स हूँ अस्मि अस्मि इट मीन्स एम यज्ञ नाम इट मीन्स इन ऑल द टाइप ऑफ द यज्ञ जप यज्ञ इट मीन्स वेन ए पर्सन एवक इन इन द एग्जिस्टेंस इट इज नॉट चेंटिंग स्थावरम इट मीन्स इन द स्टेबिलिटी थिंग्स आई एम हिमालय आई एम लाइक ए हिमालय माउंटेन Dear Arjun, I am the Bhrugu Rishi in all great Maharshis, in all words and sounds. I am Om, Omkar. I all your yagyas. I am the Chapa Yagya. It means J. It means knowing. मीन्स परमात्मा एंड इन ऑल इन ऑल यज्ञ आई एम दैट टाइप ऑफ इन अवक एंड जग जप यज्ञ एंड इन ऑल द स्टेबल थिंग्स आई एम द हिमालय माउंटेन द सदगुरु सचिदानंद परमात्मा the master of infinite galaxies the only and only installation of all the creation and the base of the creation of the billions universes came in the form of the lord krishna the lord krishna is telling his specialty the lord krishna is telling about his divine powers and uh, the main creation the greatest signi signatures on this world maharshi 
it is a very very valuable word in indian mythology and the religious spiritual science mahashi is not even that person who is enlightened or evoken in the sachidananda parmatma the but mahashi is more special than these all gyanis and these all enlightened persons it that's why in the stay in the prefix maha plus rishi maha it means the greatest rishi it means the enlightened atma gyani knower because the god give him the responsibilities to overcome the seekers and the lovers and help command and control all the spiritual sciences and spiritual system all over the universes because there is in a department for the lovers and the seekers the special teachings the special care the special environment the special safety the special love for the seekers and lovers of the god the maya take all the jivatmas and they are all living like a slave or puppet of the maya but few of them they want to liberation they burn to real knowledge of existence they love to existence they loves to the creator they loves to master satguru so when they start living this type of life style the maharshis and rishis and the divine spiritual powers they care that dead souls these souls but if you are doing some meditation and you are living in the fighting of this world and if you are involving in the all the fighting and all the tensions and all the worries and you have many many wishes worldly things now you you are not coming in this care because if this care is only for them they are really 100% surrender in the feet of the master and they do not want anything they have nothing to desire they want to awaken and awareness they want to enlightenment and atma sakshatkar the real lover of the god they never care about the worldly difficulties they do not care any pain and sorrow of the world they do not give the importance of the worldly things they just push them out like a dream they just kick them out like a false and the fake appearance so they only and only love the god existence and awaken and enlightenment and atma sakshatkar that the maharshis and the great rishis and the masters of the care the care this is the chain the first chain that is your master and your master is connected with with all the maharshi and rishis and existence so the master is the door of all enlightenment and spiritual mansion of the god so this is the mahashi word is very important then when you become enlightened then you can you can see the mahashi's presence in this world so the god existence lord krishna is telling here in all the maharshis i am the bhagu rishi because the bhagu rishi 
is the greatest Maharshi of all. Once upon a time, the Prabhu Rishi decided that I will see who is the great God of in, among the three gods, Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesha. And he went one by one to all. Even the Prabhu Rishi is the son of the Brahma, but he wants to take the trust test. So he goes to Brahma and says some bitter words. So Brahma Baj become angry. Then he goes to Lord Shiva and he says something there opposite the Shiva. Then Shiva become angry also. And last he went to the Vaikuntha. There is the Lord Vishnu was laying on the Sheshnaga, the thousand wood snake. Sitting like a spring became like a bed and the bed, on that bed laying Vishnu. That is only a symbol. I will describe you another discourse. What is the meaning of this symbol? The Bhraguri just went there. The Lord Vishnu was laying and the eyes were shut, closed. The Bhraguri just kick on his chest, Vishnu's chest. So Lord Vishnu awakened and, and put the Raghu's uh, feet on his hand and asking politely, My dear Rishi, you are so soft and my chest is very hard. Do you feel some pain? I want to massage your feet. And he was talked to Bhraguri with the sweet and very nice, respectful words. So it is decided that Lord Vishnu is the greatest than all among these God and Goddess. Even the Lord, uh, the Bhrago Rishi disrespect, insult the Vishnu, but the Vishnu knows the greatness of Bhrago Rishi and now in the Gita, the topest spiritual book of divine science, the Vishnu is telling that I am the Bhrago Rishi. I am the Rish, Bhragu in all the Rishis. The next <coughs> in the next part of this stanza, every stanza has four parts generally. The second is part of this stanza. The Master Satchidananda Paramatma Krishna is telling that uh, Aham Giram Asmi Ekam Aksharam. In all the languages, in all the voices, in all the sound, in all the expression by the mouth, by the vocal cord, I am only one. sound that is called Om. Om. Om is the first sound. It is the sound of the of the Big Bang and it is the sound of the beginning of the languages and it is the sound is incoming in every living being. Every time if anyone want to hear, he should be sit, cool and calm. He can hear this. Om is the sound of the divine, a spiritual declaration of, a, of the Brahma because the Brahma is in you and always that sound says, Oma, that is me. 
यू आर नॉट ए जीवा यू आर ए ब्रह्मा ओ ओ म आई एम दैट आई एम दैट आई एम दैट गॉड एग्जिस्टेंस सो दिस इज द declaration of the existence every time in every living being so the krishna is telling i am that om so all the sounds and the all the uh, your alphabets and your languages even the german czech slovak english chinese latin hebrew hindi tamil telugu malayalam russian arabic farsi any language asamiya any language the om is the basic seed and root of every language so my dear friends wish we are the one love and one light our origin is one our dissolution is one our god is one our soul is one our sense sensibility is one our consciousness is one we are made by that a spiritual powerful appearance of brahma satchidanand paramatma and if you see inside of your physiology and anatomy then you will see that the same hormone and the same enzymes are working in all over the body of every human in of in every country so it also proof that we are one the every human of every country that same type of the pituitary gland and the secretion is the same the structure of the cell is the same in every human and there is the same the chromosomes is also the structure of the chromosomes the same only the differentiation may be in the genes arrangement of the genes and the dna because the environment is create that difference in the physiology not physiology in the anatomy so the science of medical or the science of the biology it is proof that we are the one we are the same love and same light unfortunately the blindness of the ego create the differences and that differences in the different environment the different lifestyle and different need and different type of food and different type of the culture and different type of the dress up and the facing the condition of the natural disasters and natural conditions some some bear is cool some bear is hot some bear is a uh, moisture so that this earth is make the different type of culture but in the root of all culture and the root of all colors and the root of the all races we are all the brothers and sisters and we are all the having one atma one existence one god so my dear friends i request and love you please give up all the differences and feel that we are one
our god is one our love is one we will be awake in the one truth there is no different heaven and hells there is no difference of any other things we are the most precious creation of sachidananda parmatma so that om is also the significance of this message as i tell you the next word is next part of this stanza yagya naam jap yagyo asmi the satchidananda parmatma lord krishna is telling that all you are doing the yagyas that is not precious than me because the root cause of all the yagyas is the awakening in the satchidananda parmatma and liberation from death and birth cycle if you want to liberate from the death and birth cycle you should be know yourself inside that is called the japa yagya ja means in all the jagat in all the world pa it means a parmatma which parmatma is omnipresence like a space so that is your real uh, uh, real representation your real identity if you know this thing that yagya is a real yagya so the atma sakshatkar the krishna is indicating towards the atma sakshatkar the atma sakshatkar is the greatest yagya of this world so please be careful do not waste your time in the meaningless activities and do the meditation of the liberation and atma sakshatkar in the last of this uh, again i want to say jo means jagna it means awareness po means parmatma me in the god existence in the last part of this stanza the lord krishna is telling is thavarana himalaya the god is stable like himalaya god never goes here and there he is a presence in every particle of the world so no need to go here and there because everywhere he is like you see that the wind is everywhere the air is everywhere in this atmosphere so there is no need to the oxygen cylinder bring if you are going to india to england you you do not need oxygen cylinder everywhere is air so the god is everywhere and he is stable like the himalaya mountain so don't care and do not be fear and never be in dilemma and never be think that you are small you are the great god every person is the great god having inside because that's why he is living every person is inhaling oxygen everywhere so that's why he is living so nobody can uh, say that i have no oxygen because already oxygen there and he is inhaling exhaling breathing so the god is like your very very micro breath that the breath is not you can see that breath is your atma that breath is your existence that breath your presence that breath your being you are here because god is in you when your the touching with the god the equilibrium with the god will be finished as the lungs stop the working the person cannot breathe so if the god and your physical body is disconnected the phase that is called life that you will be die 
So when before you will be die, you should be know inside your God and liberate from that death and birth cycle. That is the message of this stanza. I am only the medium. I am very very grateful to my master giving the chance to describe this stanza. I respect and love you because you are the form of the God also, existence also. I have no any differentiation of any caste, creed and nationality. I love all the universes, all the all the earth and I want to say one thing. These videos will put upload on YouTube. Please if you subscribe this video that will be a service of existence and by the God there is my duty I teach the real meditation of awareness the Sakshi meditation of awareness if you want to learn that meditation if you want to perform the journey the mortal to immortal the fast to the truth the death and birth to the nectar of the immortality please I invite you in the meditation camp 1st August 2015 in the dairy all the information you can see on the wall of Satyavad Premananda and Swami Vedanta Nanda on Facebook thank you very much